Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are doing the world debut of an all new motorhome from Integra Coach. This one's also the smallest motorhome from Integra Coach and it is the best price Class C in the entire world for every brand of motorhome for the year 2023. This is the 2023 Integra Coach Odyssey SE. Model is 22C with a rear slide in the bedroom. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features and then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited that we are doing the world debut. Nobody's seen this unit on YouTube. Well, I've showed it at an RV show, but this is the first actual walk around of the all new Odyssey SE. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good, I'm really excited. Anytime I get to see any new floor plans, it's just like a, a breath of fresh air. Yes, ma'am. It's actually very exciting. And I, I know you're excited because it's an Integra. Yes, yes, I definitely am. And Andrea, let's begin. There's something really huge about this I motor see. home. Model is 22C, Integra Odyssey. The actual tip tip length is 25 feet, two inches. This one sits on the 7.3 liter V8. It has 325 horsepower, 450 it's pound a feet of torque. We have 14 of these wow. in the company. Andrea, listen, listen to this. The 2023s, we have 14 left nationwide. Utah, Michigan, Florida. There's only 14 of these. Once these sell, they will. the 2024s will be sitting on a Ford E450 chassis. That's going to jack the price up 20 or $30,000. So two things, one, if you hear the sale price of this and you absolutely love it, you better buy fast. Or if you do want the Chevy chassis, you better buy fast because they're not making these on the Chevy chassis for 2024. They got a fantastic deal that they passed to the consume to the dealership, which we're passing to the consumer. Wait until you guys hear the price. Andre, up front there, we do have a nice bunk over the cap. Seamless fiberglass front cap with the seams underneath here. Very nice. Again, the Chevrolet chassis. It's the Chevy 4500. Really nice. And then look at these tires. Right? They're general grabber tires. I love those. LT 225-75 R16. Now, I want everybody to know, notice how there's no front windshield bunk I over the cab. That. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But please know that this is not an Odyssey. It's an Odyssey LE. No different than an Integra Vision is different from an Integra Vision XL, okay? Again, before everybody starts commenting, wait until you hear the price. Andre, have I ever let the people wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> Coming on down here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Matt, we didn't take a look at this. Let's take a look at the uh, running board real quick just to yes, show everybody. Right there, it's a running board. Here's how you get in and out. One of the big pluses to the Chevy chassis is there's more leg space. We will talk about that in just a moment. We do have mirrors on both sides, no cameras on the side. And then again, very nice power awning with LED lights. Even though this is SE, Andre, it's still an Integra. Two year warranty, three year structural warranty. Very nice. And I don't know what the cat straps protect this motorhome, but I'm liking the sticker. You know what I'm saying? Speakers on the outside, very simple exterior. And then right here, Andre, is a propane tank. And then right here, Miss Jen, bing. Please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who is watching on television. Right here, Andre, we do have a nice six gallon DSI water heater. Coming on down here, we have a propane quick connect. If you do want to have a cooktop on the outside, tiny bit of sto uh, storage, That's little more to of none. Like connection for a TV. Right, right. The coax there and all. And then right here, Andrea, just a little bit more storage. Wow. Definitely not, not a lot. A lot. At, not a lot at all. Coming around the back, Andrea, we do have a nice bumper for the stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Backup camera there, and then there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. Unlike the Odysseys and the Esteems, it's not a fiberglass roof. Again, 
This is the SE, it's TPO. We do have one air conditioning unit here, King Air digital antenna, and then right there, there is prep for solar for the roof. Two steps. Here we go. Last step. Yes, ma'am. Who? Who? Ha! Great! If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof in cold Michigan to bring you the world debut of the new Integra Odyssey SE? Ellie. SE. Now it's an SE. Yes. I'm sorry. Nobody. Nobody. Andrea, SE, Ellie, it's all the same. Right here? Okay. Okay, that's better. A little bit decent. A more little stories. bit better, yeah. Yep, right there. That's where you're dumping your black and gray tank. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Right there, that's where your 30 amp power cord is. Potable water fill, potable. Potable. Black tank flush. Outdoor shower right there. Interesting. What these are, are just going to be your other components. Fuel fill up? Yes, ma'am. And then there's a generator. It is an Onan 4000 generator. And then to enter in on this side, okay. you can see just like that. Very nice. Well, right, I'm excited. The outside of this motorhome looks great. And you should be excited because the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. I'm kind of interested to see the cargo carrying capacity on this because it's a Chevrolet. 2,420 wow, pounds. Wow, that's not a bad. lot. Definitely not bad. Okay, we gotta get lights on. All right, wow. Okay, this is nice because there's not a slide in here, so you have a lot of walkway and it's like this at all times here yes, in the front yes. area. Walking back. Let's see, we've got our bathroom and then the bed, which is a folding bed, so you cannot use that with the slide in. Wow, wow. Andrea, it's okay. We do got to get that bedroom slide out, but while we do that, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. There's one thing that every single RV owner lot has in common, and it's one of the most important purchases you can make for any RV out there. All of these mattresses suck. They're thin, they're cheap, they're basic. I wouldn't even call these mattresses. I would call them, look, it's more of like a foam top, foam topper. It's cause the RV manufacturers make thousands of RVs every year. And they know even if they put the right style of mattress, the average customer is just gonna take it out and put their own mattress in anyway. Here's the confusing part. You can't just go to your local furniture store and say that I have a Fleetwood Bounder and get the right RV mattress for your motorhome. So that's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in to save the day. They make mattresses that is specifically designed for RVs. So you go on the website, you find your different type of firmness that you like, and you find the exact size. Maybe it's 60 by 80 or 70 by 80. Not all king size beds are the exact same size. Once you select the right size and firmness, all you do is click it and they'll ship it to your home or campground. The best part about it, it's free shipping, you get a 120 night sleep child, and it's 100% made in the USA. Here's the three best mattresses that I recommend. First up is the Dream Foam Hybrid Mattress, which is engineered by one of the most advanced fabrics on the market, typically reserved for luxury beds to deliver cooling relief on contact. Next up, the Brooklyn Signature Hybrid. Can I get a hashtag best mattress ever? It's their number one selling mattress for one reason. The Brooklyn Signature combines individually encased ascension coils with patented hyper-responsive foam to increase comfort and deeper compression support. And then finally, my favorite, the Aurora Lux Advanced Cooling Technology in a Luxury Hybrid. That was the absolute best mattress that Andre and I had in our motorhome, and it was absolutely fantastic. Click the link down below and use our promo code MAT for 20% off, and again, Thank you so much to rvmattress.com backslash Matt, a Brooklyn bedding company. Let's continue the video. Andrea, let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Again, if you're watching this and you see the 2024 model, it will not be Chevy anymore. It will be the E450, but this is nice, Andrea. I got the nice steering wheel here. I like it because it's different. Everybody builds on the Fords and there's a reason why. The Ford chassis is the superior chassis, but it's also the more expensive chassis. This one's still very nice. It still handles nice. You got nice power window or mirrors here, power windows and everything. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You do got Whoa. cup holders there. 
But Andrea, even though the four chassis is the superior chassis and people like it better, what do you get in the Chevy chassis? You know, I think I'm getting more leg space. You 110% are. I feel are. like I am. You got so. a lot more leg space. The seat does recline it back. It does. I was just checking that out. And yeah, it reclines. You know, there's nothing there protruding it. It's actually pretty comfortable. And you have all this space here. Yes. Pro and I like that there's no carpet there either. Yeah. Pros and cons to everything, Andrea. And again, that is a big pro to the Chevrolet chassis, my dear. And, and then, then above, look at this, Matt. Bonk over the cab. Very nice. Holds, what, 800 pounds? Well, all Integras hold 800 pounds. No, no, 750. 750. That's, that's right, right. 750. That's right. Uh, we, the plastic's still on it. Andrea, this unit just came in. Um, really nice. You got the little bed here. Plenty of space right there. You know what I'm noticing? That it doesn't look like, you know how like most of the time the bunker of the cabs don't have a lot of headspace? Yeah. This for some reason looks like it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Definitely does have good headspace there, Andrea, which is nice. Um, and then right here is the Insignia TV. But again, that might just be an optical illusion because it doesn't have that awesome front windshield. Maybe. And then over here, let's check out this awesome storage with Sayu. Nice. How do you it's like the cabinetry? High. It um, is high. It's it's okay. You know, I mean, this is their traditional color. Yep. Now, speaking of traditional color, these are not their traditional balances. I've actually never seen Integra do these balances. Seen them. So let's see, Andrea. Denied. Womp, 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 womp. Sorry, Integra. Why'd you deny them, Andrea? I don't like them. Oh, man, the batteries are dying, so. Let me get the, all right, now we're all lit up again. Here's something that I do like, Andrea. Even oh, though- Nice you, window. Yes, this is a huge window, and I absolutely love this. Right here is the accordion shades. You guys know how we feel about that. But here's what I will say. Having that huge window is super duper nice. Not only that, we have a dinette right here. Very comfortable, small motor home, Andrea. You're not gonna get that sofa and that dinette. There is cup holders here for when you're driving and this does drop down to make another bed. Let's see if there's storage underneath this dinette. Oh, that's something that's nice. Oh. So oh, if you're taller, wow. you can recline that back. That's a nice feature. Yeah, because especially if you, you're driving, you want to be comfortable. Look at this, there is storage. Very and Even good. though it's the SE, they did continue the it's Matt and Andrea. Very nice. Oh, uh, piano hinges. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> it took us forever, but. <laughs> we did that. And when I say we, I don't mean Matt and Andrea. We mean you I guys. I mean you, me, and the RV review crew. Very, very nice. Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. Okay. And then and then we're going to tell you guys the price. Guys, you do not want to miss this. All right. So up here, we have a little bit of storage. I see the, another coax up there. Um, above here, we've got some storage. Yes. We gave you a window in the kitchen. Now, the double sink, I don't know about that. Okay. Um, under here, place for a trash can. Mm hmm You've got three drawers. One, two, and three. I mean, good size for them being, you know, little. And then we've got the convection microwave here. Very nice. Got some storage above, like a little cubby. And then you've got your hood range up here. Hood range. Is that what it's called? I always say that every time. Yes, ma'am. We've got a two burner propane uh, cooktop, suburban, with this glass cover, which I'm never fond of. You know, I, I like that they're consistent. At least they, they do their backsplash. And then we got a drawer here. Very nice. That's a huge drawer. Then we've got the uh, three-way refrigerator, right? Two-way. Two-way. Two-way refrigerator. Runs off both propane yes. and electric. And then behind me. What this, do you got? This is, I guess, the pantry. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. That's that's a pretty good size for how little this is. Right, right. And I wasn't expecting. I always thought it was going to be the wardrobe all in one or something. Right. Well, the wardrobe is on the other side of that. We'll show everybody that in just a second. But Andre, I got to hear this. Do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Andre, do you see the title of this video? Um. The best price or the cheapest or whatever. You ready? It's 2023. MSRP is $115,808, right? We have 14 of these nationwide, all at 31% off. Wow. To a sale price of $79,995. That is insane. I, I, wow. Do not call to negotiate. 
do not call to say that's too high. I always tell everybody, give us a call and we'll get you a better price. Guys, give us a call and we'll get you this because there's only 14 of them. 79.9, Integra got a fantastic deal on them. That means General got a fantastic deal. That means we're passing it on to you and we want to move these but things. But make sure that you, you fill out the match cash and you, oh, call, yeah. you told to them. To get one of see, these, yeah. don't call General. Go to generalrv.com slash matchcash. That takes you to a member of my team nationwide. Again, we have these in Salt Lake City, Michigan, Virginia, Florida. Yeah. Click the link down below. You can get to that link from matchrvrvs.com or you can call this number, 844-969-4033. Guys, trust me, call us. It's a phenomenal deal. They won't be here for long. And again, if you're watching this video in the future and we're out of these 23s, the 24s will probably be 99.9 sale price because they're going to be 24s and they're going to be on the Ford E450 and, and nobody got that good discount. You know what I'm saying? I do. Andrea, let's continue. You got to catch them while you can. Hey, come on here. Check out this huge wow that's i decent. love this i love how they doubled that you know what i'm saying i'm glad they didn't have it all mixed into one right so i'm actually happy about that nice drawers here andrea very nice over here in the bedroom we have good storage above and again andrea to get a motorhome this price that actually has a slide out as right. well and, and for it being so small and being like state park national park friendly and just, you know, having the one slide and all yeah. the storage is yeah. pretty amazing. Right over there, we got a phone charger. And over here, we have a phone charger. We got these lights right here that turn blue. And then you hold it down and it turns bright. I, I do like... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Matt, they do have it prepped over here for a TV with the coax up there so you can mount that. And yes. there is a nice window. There's two windows there and this big window right here. Very, very nice, Andrea. We do have a privacy curtain, though. So yeah. I am going to show that right there. Yeah, and Andrea, I, I I like these side windows as well. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it makes it feel more open. Yes. And then let's check out the bathroom. Guys, into the bathroom. Okay. That is a big step up, too. 24 by 36 shower, definitely not bad. I like how they have the hanger here. It's a small motor home, you might have to make double time in it. Right over here, we have a very nice medicine cabinet with... Aww. Andrea, where's the liquefied? It's back in Florida. Dang, dab it. Bing. Guys, we couldn't bring our liquefied through TSA. That's our brand of black tank treatment. You can get that exclusively on Amazon at primepoopingposition.com. Andrea, show us the sink. Nice sink. You got a place for sponges here and some storage under there. Nice. Matt, we should leave some of our, our toilet RV chemical at General. So that way we don't have to bring it with us. Right. Mm. Oh, it's plastic. Wow. Really? Uh-oh. Oh. For $79.9, I can swap this out myself <laughs> for a All of a sudden, the toilets go out of stock. <laughs> Still, Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. Watch, let me womp, see. Womp, 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 Are you womp. squished when I close I'll, the door? Yeah, I'm squished as well. I'm always squished when the toilet's here. Again, at 79.9, I can't be mad, but I'm definitely not passing that. All right. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome. Three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. Okay, you go first. Okay, so my dislike is going to be, I don't think the double sink is necessary. Correct, uh, you, you, you lose have, all counter space. You have no space. counter space. Yep, and don't get me wrong, there's things that you can put on that sink. Right, but it's just a hassle. Yep, for sure. I 100% agree with you, especially in the small motor home. A small little right. sink would have been A-OK. -okay. Perfect. Andrea, that's number one. Number two for me, um, I don't like these accordion blinds, and I'm going to combo that with the flip-up bed. Even though it's nice to have, I will touch on that again. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say the flip-up bed. I'm going to take that back. I'm going to make it just the accordion blinds. I really don't like these blinds. I feel like it's not too much more money to have the slow rise. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that I've never been a huge fan of. That's number two. And then number three, hmm, walking around. Hang on a second. 
Dislike number three. Is it something outside? Um, was it the chat? Hmm. Andrea, I can't think of a dislike number three. Andrea, do you know, like, a dislike number three? Because I can't think of one. I don't know, Matt. Huh, I don't it's know. It's really hard. Oh, wait. I do have a dislike number three. What the heck's going on, Where Integra? Is it? It's missing. Where's the front windshield, Andrea? The one thing that I love about Integra's is the bunk over the cab windshield. I feel like that's that the whole sense. thing that makes it Integra. That's love. That's what love means. With that said, at seventy nine nine, yes, that's love. At seventy nine nine, I'm fine without a windshield, truthfully. But I am begging Integra for 2024. Once that price goes one dollar above seventy nine nine, and it's now eighty thousand, eighty five, ninety five, a hundred thousand dollars, you need that windshield. This is sister products to the Jayco Redhawk mm -hmm. SE, and the big difference between Jayco and Integra is the windshield. And please, please put the windshield. That's what makes Integra. I feel like. Whenever it's, I think about Integras, I think of that front windshield. And when you think of an Integra diesel pusher, you know what you think of? The windshield in the front. Because no, the, no, the um, the lights, the front light design. Oh, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Neither here nor there. Again, Andrea, that's three things we dislike about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Can I go first? Sure. 79995 for a brand new Class C. I have not heard that since before COVID. Unbelievable. Oh, for a brand new Class C with a slide right. out, I love that. That's love number one. Andre, love number two for me, there's a reason why I took back the flip up bed. You guys know we don't like the flip up beds, but again, for a motorhome this small, to actually have a decent sized bedroom is pretty freaking cool if you ask that me. That you can actually walk around. Yeah, and at least the fold ups down by your feet, you right. know what I'm saying? But like, is this a great size bedroom for such a small motorhome? I love that. That's number two. Andrea, wrap it up for us with number okay, three. I gotta give it to them. They did a great job uh, on the pantry and wardrobe space. Yes. I really can't stand it when it's all in one yes. because you don't have shelves. But this is great. They did a good job. They, they did a fantastic did. job. Not only that, Andrea, I, I do want to give them kudos that there is a flush floor in here. Yes. And that they put the piano hinges underneath the dinette. Andrea, that's it. That's the video. That's the world debut of the 2023 Integra Odyssey SE. Guys, do us a huge favor. Comment down below. Integra reads all our comments. They read your comments. Comment about what you want to see in the 2024s. Let us know what you love about the 2023s. And let me know if you're buying one of this. Comment down below because, again, it's a phenomenal price. And there's 14 people watching this video right now who's going to get an amazing opportunity buying this motorhome. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. If you're interested in buying this, make sure you click the link down below. Yes. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And make sure to comment and leave feedback. Yes. Again, it's generalrv.com slash mattscash on mattsrvreviews.com. The link down below or call the number 844 969 4033. Oh, thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.